Analytics and Dollar Analysis. Uh, very simple format. We look at charts, we look at open interest data, we look at FIDA data, and we try to form an informed opinion on where the market is going to be likely in the next uh, three to seven days. This is not aimed at intraday trading. This is not aimed at people who are trading very frequently. This is aimed for people who have a trading pattern similar to me. That is people who have a day job, don't want to put too much time and effort and stress into it, want to take a trade maybe once or twice a week, or even maybe once in two or three weeks, just hold it and you know get out. It's, it's more of a swing positional trading, slightly longer term horizon uh, program. Why do we do this? Because see, market is extremely difficult to get the direction right. And if you're trading short term, you're trying to get the direction and timing right. We are trying to get direction more or less right in a slightly larger time frame. This is the logic, right? And how do we do it? We look at the data of all the big guys and try to follow whatever they are trying to follow. With that prelude, let's get started with Kya Lagra market. So the first thing which we will look at is Nifty chart. So I, I remember the last analysis. Let, let's start with the last analysis that we did. Uh, so in the last analysis that we did, we said that all data indicates bearishness. If Friday's close is lower than Thursday's close, then and only then the engulfing is confirmed and more downside will follow. And we also said, please be careful about a fake breakdown bar re retracement back to the channel. Interestingly, in the morning, I thought the retracement back into the channel has happened. But towards the afternoon, second half, I am not sure if it has happened or not. But it did did not confirm the bullish engulfing right it looks like it might be back in the channel if the close had happened below friday's close it was definitely bearish and tuesday we could have expected market to dip but that has not really happened what is we are seeing instead is that we have a bounce back kind of into the channel and now we have a very interesting scenario because Friday's candle was a bearish engulfing on Nifty and Bank Nifty both. But the problem now is that Thursday's, uh, sorry, uh, on Thursday's candle was a bearish engulfing. Friday's candle is a bullish harami in Nifty and Bank Nifty <coughs> both. So the problem is we are not very sure that it's a breakdown like we had warned on Thursday. See, like, Thursday, everything was saying bearish, right? But I didn't have the guts to say that, boss, this can be a false breakout because you can't, nobody can say when a breakout is false, right? And data was pointing bearish. So I said, okay, everything looks bearish, but please be careful. And this is the careful which I was talking about because market formed a bullish harami, right? And what is a bullish harami? It's a green candle completely contained inside a red candle. Now, that's not all. The bullish harami that is formed in Bank Nifty has closed above 100 DMA. The bullish harami that has formed in Nifty has closed above 50 DMA. So for all we know, this could be a reversal candle back to the bull trend. And if tomorrow's close is higher than Friday's close, then we can have a bull trend back again. Right. So let me write all of this down. Nifty and Bank Nifty both formed bullish Harami pattern in daily time frame. If tomorrow's, if uh, Tuesday close above Friday close, then we can see market resuming a bull trend. Also, Nifty above 50 DMA, Bank Nifty above. 100 TMA. Right. Uh, so that is the daily channel. Now let us, sorry, daily uh, chart. Now let's look at uh, okay, I'm just looking at it. Uh, sorry, I was reading comments. Now let's look at weekly charts, right, on Nifty and Bank Nifty both. Sorry, not sure what this is going to throw now. Okay, weekly chart is an indecision candle doji with a strong rejection in the bottom. Again, weekly chart is a perfect doji cross signaling indecision. Weekly 
is a doji cross signaling indecision which could mean continuation or reversal so we have we need confirmation for this also on a weekly closing basis finally let's look at monthly candle and this is where my analysis says there is hope for bulls there is hope for market see this is a strong candle like there is absolutely no doubt that what has what we are seeing here is a is at least a bullish piercing in nifty what we are seeing here is not full bullish piercing but this could be an inverted hammer a smaller head would have been better so this is also a reversal pattern monthly candles are monthly close candles positive on both indices right usd i really want to write ram jani but i don't think that's a that's that's an option to write so <laughs> i'm not going to say it usd is consolidating i really don't know what's up with usd passing no clear direction and point here you can't buy option because it's not moving you can't sell option because if it moves you're selling options for a very cheap cost and it might just be it might i mean not uh, not enough movement to buy not enough premium to sell and the risk of breakout so i'm not trading usd enough hmm let's look at nifty weekly Inter interesting picture everybody added puts calls were added only at 19800 19600 is a tremendous put area 19600 650 700 750 etc did not see much call writing 700 b you can see calls here but they are old calls 600 is emerging as a strong support being as a strong support as per oi action now let's look at the pcr pcr is positive 800 is the real resistance but this is this is old i mean pcr is 0.8 which is bullish no questions i mean sorry this is a moderate e bullish i know i won't even say moderately let's say mildly bullish right now let's look at fi option data fi sold calls but sold even more puts right 60k calls sold 1.2 l puts sold net bullish <laughs> fi futures data 700 crore sells that is negative Okay, stock data. Stock data. I've been see. The, you, if there's one thing which is scaring the living daylights out of me, it is the fact that FII is. So let's also look at the consolidated monthly picture, right? Mm. FII sold twenty five thousand crores in September. FII sold twenty thousand crores in August. So this is not nice, right? And DIA bought. Forty-five thousand crores, which is the reverse of FIA. That's mostly mutual fund inflows, which is us, and we are never right. Not we in this show are never right. We we are once in a while right, but retail generally loses cash. Very well known fact. So this is kind of scaring me. This is not good at all. Uh, FIA still selling cash. Uh, where is that? September, right? August and September. Sell more than forty-five thousand crores. So it it means that there is no structural bullishness. It's a little scary. Maybe market will go up some more, and it will all you know could be that. Right verdict. 
uh, again, I hate to say this, make or break levels. There's no clarity emerging at 19, uh, at 19600. If bullish daily patterns are confirmed, we can see continuation of bullish rally. If the channel and the DMAs are broken, nifty indices can crack down further. My subjective opinion, bullishness to continue. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong here, but if you put a gun on my head, I'll say bullishness to continue. Right, that's what I think is more likely uh, because yeah, let's put it this way, right? If the market had to break, it would have easily broken on Friday. But instead, here we are looking at a bullish harami with decent volumes above 50 DMA into the channel, maybe not inside the channel, but maybe kind of inside. That's a touch and go, right? Because even if I shift this uh, thing a little bit, Right, let me just do this right. If I shift it a little bit, like slightly little bit, then it could very well be outside the channel, right? So I am conflicted on if it's the, my my subjective, my bias. I'll say bias. Bullish has to continue. Uh, let's say 60 40, right? I'm if you put a, I, I'll really love to wait and watch, but if you really force me to take a trade, uh, I am in favor, favor of bull 60 40. Wait for. Clarity, no point gambling. If supports hold, buy. If supports crack, I know this doesn't help, but see, the thing is this, right? Trading is one thing in which not doing wrong things most of the time has a very good positive expectancy. So, half the time, your only job is to avoid those bad trades where we will make mistakes. So if I tomorrow say buy it or sell it or something, it might lose money, right? And if you don't do anything, you're definitely, you know, not going to lose money. So maybe it's a good idea to wait and watch, right? Uh, Dilip, thank you very much for pointing it out. Let me just look at the, uh, Dilip is asking, can I add bias? Your bias to bullish. I think market will go to 21,000 eventually plus. But then I can't say that because then I'm also like one of those people who come on TV and say 50,000 nifty by 2056. I mean, that's pointless, right? We can't do, it's very irresponsible to have my opinion on something when I am a nobody sitting in a co remote corner of the world looking at data, which is created by people who probably control governments. So it is ridiculous of people like us to have opinions. Hey, boss, very cool. Like, yeah, market too. But yeah, that's just stupid, right? I mean, I, I really don't know how people make predictions like 50, 25,000 by the end of December 20. Dude, come on. How do you know? Like, who are you even? Are you like running governments here? Are you the Federal Reserve Chairman? No, right? So then shut up here. There are people who are going to listen to uh, whatever you are going to say and put their hard-earned money into it, right? It's just ridiculously irresponsible that financial influencers make these subjective opinions like I think Nifty will India shining 2030. Most of the people who say India shining, India shining are actually mutual fund distributors boss. They that's the only thing they can say to make you sell their mall. They'll say India shining, Asia shining, uh, global economy shining, universe shining, Milky Way shining, all of that because otherwise how do you sell the mutual fund right? You need to buy like the only story which can make a mutual fund sell is a positive economy story which is why most people I mean, see, like we are a small segment, right? All these FNO traders, the biggest segment in the world is mutual fund investors. The only reason why they invest is they think everything is going well. So it's a necessity of the financial industry, the mass media and the mutual fund distributors and the banks and everybody else in between to keep on telling you that, dude, everything is going to go really well. So please don't buy that narrative. Do your own. Of course, if you keep SIPing into Nifty for a really, 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 really long time, your grandchildren might drive a silver colored Porsche 911 Turbo S, but you won't make money in the next six months, right? So, of course, please keep investing in 
indices forever in the long run everything will turn out well but please don't listen to some dude who is saying nifty will re reach 25000 by next year because he has no clue what he's talking about just like i have no clue what i'm talking about right because i can look at data and see what is most likely to happen tomorrow i don't know when nifty will be in december nobody can tell you that of course maybe jerome powell can tell you that or you know indian government can tell you that because they probably know what's coming but nobody else so please stay away from those kind of analysts i really have to see the comments uh, of i am going to get all right so events calendar analyze stock market calendar what is the calendar saying rbi's interest rate decision is coming on 6th october that is friday important important data point 6th october friday interesting 6th october friday is also non non farm payrolls in us uh, i don't know why this is two thunders it should be three thunders maybe i should just talk to the person who is updating this and tell them boss how can nfp be two thunders three thunders very important data event uh, so please be careful around friday but yaar yeah, friday tak to time hai dekhenge kya hota hai but yeah, please be careful with bank nifty because bank nifty might not see show any direct um, sense of direction maybe till friday because but these are two very important data point rbi interest rate decision of course decides the interest rates and you know you know the drill non farm payrolls maybe it's important i mean it depends really on what comes right no other important data points uh, this week i think jerome powell is making a speech perhaps but i am i'm not sure if it's an economic event right okay let me just see any more comments any more comments kiran we are working on making all the features of trading view accessible on sensible we'll post an update on it soon right so no more questions on this uh, market analysis so i think i'll call it um, jayesh is asking how to explain fi cash selling and interest index raising well it is because there is retail buying probably and also they are buying in fndo maybe they are trying to sell high so it could be that um uh, so that is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow um thank you so much for joining and as usual most important thing please don't compulsively take trades take trades see the thing is this right like i said there's a lot of value in not taking trades that will lose money if you wait for the right trades you won't be stuck in wrong trades and when the right trade come you will be able to chase the right trades it's a lot like dating in that sense so please conserve your capital so that when the good trade comes you have money to put in it uh so you know as usual be patient when you are not finding a good trade and be aggressive when you find a good trade and if as long as you avoid mistake and keep preserving your capital in the long run your process will make give you a very positive expectancy in markets right so on that note um i'll take your leave uh thank you so much for joining uh and as usual please take care and keep your capital safe bye